Global Ethics Corner from the Carnegie Council. Tragedies are the core stories after the disasters in Japan. Containing nuclear destruction is the ongoing drama. A smaller but instructive tale surrounds the Japanese fishing industry. Rarely is something central to a nation's psyche overthrown in a moment. Fish and rice are at the heart of Japanese culture, and fishing is mythical to this island nation. The International Herald Tribune notes that Japanese, quote, eat more fish per capita than people in any other developed country. The importance of fishing in Japanese culture belies the fishing industry's status in the economy. Fishing is a declining occupation. Worldwide stocks of wild fish are in drastic descent, and species are increasingly fished to the brink of extinction. Consequent competition on the high seas is ever more intense. Globally, industries rise and fall, carrying people's livelihoods and entire communities with them. In America, the demise of steel, sugarcane, and small farming devastated regions. The misery of decline, fall, and renewal takes generations, and success is far from certain. For much of the Japanese fishing industry, the twin disasters wiped the slate clean. But what's next? The push of old core values is strong. Some know nothing but challenging the oceans for food, while for others, the fishing industry sustains national symbols and requires renewed investment. The pull of new visions is also powerful. Decline was overthrown by disaster, offering a chance to rapidly reinvent a region, to grow new industries. What would you do? Rebuild the strengths of the past? or focus on rebirth. Resources may not allow both. This is Terence Hurley from the Carnegie Council. Made possible by the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. Post a comment at www.carnegiecouncil.org.